You won't believe how many people have been pretending this whole time. Imagine waking up one day and realizing your entire life had been built on lies. That's what it felt like for me when I finally woke up from narcissistic abuse and the toxic family dynamic I was trapped in. My world completely crumbled, and at 40, I saw everything with new eyes. The illusion I had lived in for so long was gone, and I couldn't believe how blind I had been. If you've ever felt like you're starting to see behind the masks people wear, especially in your own family, you know how shocking it is. I looked at my parents, at the family I grew up with, and thought, how did I not see this before? How could I have missed all these signs? These were the only people I had ever known, and yet it felt like I was meeting them for the first time, and everything I believed about my life was shattered. Now let me tell you this process of awakening. It's not for the faint of heart. It's not just some trendy spiritual term you hear people talk about lightly. Recently someone asked me, can you help me wake up? I want to see what you see. But here's the truth. You won't wake up until you're ready. The universe prepares you, and when it's time, it's time. But I'll be real with you, waking up to the truth isn't easy. It's uncomfortable, even painful. You're going to see things you wish you hadn't, and once you do, there's no going back. Stick around, because today I'm diving into what awakening really looks like. No sugar coating, just the raw truth. Let's get into it. You'll soon come to realize that everything you've believed has been an illusion. Those individuals you used to be close with, the ones you spent countless days and nights with, were all part of a facade. Many of you may have been trapped in a toxic environment, whether it was a narcissistic family, romantic relationship, or even certain friendships. And then you woke up to the truth. Now, trying to explain this reality to anyone feels like describing a scene from a nightmare. People don't believe you. They aren't listening. To them, it sounds like you're telling tales because they simply can't see what you now see. You're finally seeing things for what they truly are. The truth is unfolding before your eyes. The people in your life were pretending. Everything you knew, from your relationships to your daily life, was built on lies. Your friends, your partner, even your family, they were all part of the deception. Explaining this to others feels impossible. That's why I'm making this video, to give you some clarity. As someone who's gone through an awakening, I'm here to deliver the truth. A lot of people in your life are putting on an act. Those friends you trust and spend most of your time with, they're pretending. Most of the things they tell you are not the truth. Believe me, I spent 40 years being deceived before I uncovered the reality that I was living in a dysfunctional family system. 40 years of lies, can you even begin to comprehend that? So how do you begin to heal from decades of deception? How do you recover from being tangled in lies for 20, 30 or more years? Folks, we often overlook the importance of acknowledging the effort we put in. Personally, I make sure to recognize my own growth. I'm not sure about you, but I make it a point to appreciate the hard work I've done to gain clarity on what's been unfolding in my life. It's no easy task to sit down and reflect on the setbacks to really understand the path you've walked. You have a sincere and honest heart. You stand for truth, and your actions are rooted in love and authenticity. You once assumed everyone around you operated the same way. You believed people would be upfront, that they'd be honest about what was going on. But the harsh reality is that much of what you thought was genuine has been false. Even your doctors, the ones you rushed to see in clinics, never gave you the full picture. Your friends withheld the truth, and those close to you have been putting on a facade the entire time. As you progress in your healing journey, you start to grasp the difference between what's real and what's not. You're pulling apart the threads of reality and illusion. You've stopped accepting everything at face value. A lot of what you see, especially on platforms like TikTok and Facebook, is staged. People project images and stories that don't match their actual lives. They seek attention and approval, share impartial truths just to fit in or gain acceptance from others. After breaking free from the cycle of abuse, I started speaking with raw honesty. In nearly all my videos, I lay out the facts without sugarcoating anything unless I'm discussing something unrelated. I didn't filter or change the reality of what I was experiencing. 
But have you noticed how many people out there are spinning half-truths? They want your belief, your attention, to pull you into their circle. Many individuals are chasing recognition and approval. Someone wakes up one day thinking, I'll make a viral video, and to achieve that, they resort to fabricating stories. They create scenarios that are far from genuine. We've reached a point where truth and deception are almost indistinguishable. Lies often draw in massive audiences, while genuine voices are frequently overlooked. This constant craving for approval leads people to fake their lives. Some go as far as flaunting their bodies or concocting exaggerated stories just to catch a glimpse of attention. We're in a world so steeped in toxicity that few are willing to reveal the real story. Instead, they package falsehoods, offering a completely distorted reality. Most of what you witness online is a crafted illusion. People renting luxury cars, buying designer clothes just to give the impression of wealth. But once you awaken, you develop a sharper vision to see beyond the surface. That's exactly why insincere people dislike being around you. In your presence, they are confronted with the truth they've been avoiding. And it's this reflection of their dishonesty that makes them distance themselves. Some might even vanish from your life altogether because your authenticity exposes the lies they've been living and it leaves them unsettled. Folks, let me tell you, what you see online isn't always what it seems. Many people out there are putting on a show, especially on social media, where narcissists create false images for the world to admire. And unfortunately, millions fall for the factoid. You start comparing yourself thinking, wow, look at their lifestyle, their cars, their success. But behind the scenes, it's a completely different reality. These same people can be wreaking havoc in their own homes, making life miserable for their partners. In fact, most of the time, let's say about 95%, you're probably surrounded by inauthentic individuals. One day, the reality will hit you hard when you realize that someone close to you, who you thought was genuine, was simply playing a role. They were in your life just long enough to get what they wanted, all while showing you nothing but facade. Eventually, you'll uncover the truth behind their actions and their intentions. Not everyone has the ability to see through this deception, though. Many people remain trapped in the falsehoods because those illusions are specifically crafted to keep you distracted. They keep you from focusing on yourself or making strides in your personal growth. Instead, you find yourself wasting time and energy on these fake portrayals. But here's the truth. The only real world you can trust is the one inside of you. The genuine reality, the one that matters, exists within. It's not out there in the fabricated lies people display. Now, don't get me wrong, not everyone is putting on a show. There are a few authentic souls out there, and when you meet one, you'll feel it instantly. They might be rare, but they do exist. However, the majority of people you come across, whether online or in person, are often pretending. So don't be fooled by what you see. Let us know what you think about this message in the comments below. You know I appreciate each and every one of you. I'll see you in the next video. Much love and blessings to you all. Peace.